just spent the night in a bed with bed bugs. And Abby has the bed bug scars to prove it. Oh, oh my, my God. God. And this is how you should check your hotel room before you even unpack. A little about me, if you're new, my name's Haley. I've been working in the hotel industry for 15 years. I own a hotel sales support company. And this is how I check my rooms before I get, you know, unpacked and settled in a room. The first thing you're gonna wanna do is make sure your room is dark, turn off lights, close any shades, and use the flashlight on your phone. And while everything's off, you're gonna come up here under the covers. This one does have a mattress pad, but you're gonna check under all the creases here on the beds and here. They usually like to hang out in the corners and the creases. Here's a better angle. You're gonna wanna check here, up underneath here, under here. I didn't get that. And also pay attention if there's a mattress pad too. Even if you don't see bugs, make sure you check for spots. It's like blood spots because that's not a good sign either. Hope this helps. How come we haven't found a way to completely eliminate these creatures from existence? I mean, I read a report that we've eliminated like 90 different species in the past 20 years. Anyways, this little PSA from Haley and she's in the hospitality business and she's pointing out how to make sure you don't get caught up with some bed bug issues. She talked about course searching for a certain way. But one more video here, you guys, because another instance of what she's pointing out where you wouldn't expect bed bugs to also be located since you're searching for them, which I will be doing every chance I get any hotel I stay in. Watch more. So you wanna know the dirtiest spots in a hotel room? When it comes to bed bugs, it's usually the furniture, the mattress, drapes, those kind of areas. But some of the most missed places are the mini refrigerators not being cleaned out, microwaves not being cleaned out, the top of the headboards not being dusted, and I always check around the nightstands because I will constantly find like toenails and stuff there. It's gross, people are gross. One of the dirtiest places I actually think, and this can go hand in hand with the bed bugs, are the pull-out sofas. Even if you are not sleeping on them, check the pull-out sofa. I remember I stayed at a hotel like a year or so ago, we pulled out and there was just garbage, confetti and stuff in this pull-out mattress. So don't forget that. Haley with a flair giving us uh, some details, not only bed bugs, but just disgusting this. How about toenails, Dan? <laughs> um, How do you know they weren't fingernails, Haley? Yeah, would you like some toenails with your continental breakfast and your morning uh, coffee that you make in there? Good God, yeah, no, I mean, on the one hand, like th this is the fact of the hospitality industry where you have workers, especially the hotel cleaning staff, who are just super overworked and underpaid and have to turn around these rooms super quickly. And so they can't get to everything. The people who are staying in those rooms are not cleaning up after themselves because they're staying away, so it's fine. And so what you get are missed corners. I mean, folks who are flight attendants talk about this stuff all the time about how you should wipe down your seats because oh, yeah. they would love to and it's their job. But the reality is they have to turn these planes around so quickly with delays and whatnot. They don't have the time to do as thorough a job they'd like to. So I, I, was, I thought it was gonna be worse because I've seen people do these videos with like an actual little black light yeah. and uh, yeah, definitely the, um, yeah, it would be bad. I, I catch I catch uh, trouble for being anti-restaurant and nobody really knows this, but I'm generally anti staying at a hotel. I just don't, I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't like it. <laughs> it's not, there's always these amenities, you know, wife is always talking about, Oh, but they've got a pool and they've got this and they got this great breakfast and they got the restaurant. And man, it's just, just look at this bed and look at that TV and look at that view. I was like, yeah, bro, I feel you. No, I don't know. It's just, it's not my spot. I, I haven't, but there's no specific thing. Now I've got some specifics to go off of. Maybe I can win this battle. Maybe I can win that battle.